Come on in, just, uh, yeah. You guys all set? Close it up, please. Thanks. Well, thank you very much. This is a great honor for me because I'm a hockey fan and I'm a Capitals fan. And Ted, I'm your fan too, if you oh, want to know the very truth. Nice okay. And this guy, I have no choice but to be his fan <laughs> because he is something special. Look at those hands, huh? <laughs> special guy, special athlete, player. They all are. They won, uh, they won something last year, and it was just uh, that's all people wanted to talk about. I couldn't get them focused on other things that we deal with, which are very important. They were all about the Capitals. And I guess you have six more games and you go back, and then it's back into the playoffs, and I think you're going to do fantastically well. Alex, I know you're going to do great. Today we welcome to the White House the 2018 Stanley Cup champions, the Washington Capitals, and it's really a, a special team, and they have a special owner, a man who's been a great success over his lifetime. He's got, you've got your son here with you, too, yeah. I believe, right? So thank you very much. Uh, and your new head coach, Todd Reardon. Todd, thank you very much, and good luck in the playoffs. That's going to be starting very soon. And we welcome, most importantly, the entire Capitals team. They're winners. They know how to win, and uh, I think you're going to see that starting in a little, a little while. You uh, had a truly incredible season last season, defending against your arch rivals and two-time reigning champions, the Pittsburgh Penguins. How are they doing, Ted? They'll be in the playoffs. They're never easy, right? They will. <laughs> <laughs> They're never easy, but uh, let's see how it all works out. You were led to victory by a very special athlete, a great player, captain, team captain, Alex Ovechkin. And where's Ivanka? She was back there. She's a friend, and she, uh, she's a tremendous fan. Alexander the Great, they call him, has spent his entire 13-year NHL career with the Washington Capitals. And his hard work and loyalty has paid off last season. He outscored every player in the league. Wow, that's not bad, right? Yeah. With 64 <laughs> goals. <laughs> it's like Babe Ruth. He hit more than every player in the league. He had actually one season, I think he had more home runs than every player in the league. Other than that, he wasn't a very good hitter. He right? <laughs> was a special one, too. 64 goals, 114 points, and was named the playoff MVP and that was easy. Nobody did more to deserve the Conn Smythe Trophy. And Alex, congratulations. And uh, we're going to all be watching you in a few weeks, in a couple of weeks. And uh, I have no doubt your team is going to do great. Uh, and we also have Gary Bettman. Where's Gary? He's around here someplace. The uh, Where? You mean you didn't make the team? OK, but come over here for a sec. The commissioner of the NHL. And you have done a great job, I have to say. You have done a, I, re, I knew you before, right? Before of he course. was in, I knew you in a different league, and you did, they did a great thing. Thank so you. congratulations, Thank man. Thank you very great much. Great job, Mr. and have a great playoff. So after coming up short the first game, in the first game of the series, the team never quit. It looked like they were in trouble. Defenseman John Carlson, where's John? Where's John? <laughs> <laughs> Is he good? Uh, is he good? He's pretty good. <laughs> no, he's good. John Carlson repeatedly found the back of the net, earning a franchise record as a defenseman with 20 points in the postseason. Wow, that's pretty good, huh? That's very good. <laughs> you know, there used to be a man, Bobby Orr, right? I used to watch him play the Rangers, Bobby Orr. Yeah. And uh, he was a great Offensive defenseman, right? Yeah, he's a lot better than me. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Including an impressive goal in game four, which was a very important one. And Eugenie, where's, where's Eugenie? Where are you? Eugenie Kuznetsov. Where is he? Here. Well, you're a young guy. Look at this guy. And I think everybody knows Kuznetsov tied a league record with four assists in a single finals game. That's fantastic. It was really a team. A great team you put together, Ted. Thank you, sir. So you brought the Stanley Cup home. Thousands of adoring fans greeted you. They were all over the place. And uh, I have a feeling you're going to be doing it again. Your champions, you have a champion's heart. Your owner has been so fantastic. He's kept this team together. And you pretty much have the same team that you had last year, for the most part. Yep. And I just want to wish you a lot of luck. In Washington, that's what they want to talk about. They don't want to talk about anything else. I can't get their subject onto anything else. So you got to win quickly, OK? Because we have to get back to work for the normal work. But I think you're going to do really fantastically well. I want to just say, 
it's an honor to have the Caps with us. It's an honor to have the Washington Capitals here. You're winners in the highest sense. It's very tough to win. It's very tough to go through all those teams. And I really tell you, I think you're going to have an awfully good chance of doing it again. We don't want to put too much pressure. A lot of times, you're better off saying, eh, it doesn't matter. It takes the pressure off. But you have nothing. You know, you have no pressure because you won. And this makes it easier. Wouldn't you say that's true, Gary? Makes it a little bit easier. We, we just want excitement. <laughs> so, Ted, maybe I'd ask you to say a couple of words to your fans out there, because you have a lot of them. Thank you. It's a great honor to be here in the Oval Office. And uh, the team is very, very respectful to the process and what it takes to win. We hope to make the community in Washington, D.C. proud and try to do it again this year. That's Thank great. you very much for all of your hospitality here in the White House. It's, uh, it's a true thrill for all of the players in the organization and great honor. Thank you, well, sir. Well, we have great Appreciate respect it. for what you've done on this team. So what about you, MVP? Do you want to say a couple of words? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, okay. uh, my speech is going to be much easier than uh, I was in the parade. Um, but thank you very much uh, uh, for having us. It's a huge honor for us to be here, uh, meet you uh, personally. And, um, you know, we're going to try to do it again. Um, like I said, uh, we have the same team, uh, experienced team. We're a good group of guys. And, uh, uh, we're, going to, we're going to try to do it again. Well, Thank you. I think you're going to be successful. Thank you. Very proud of you guys. Well, good luck. We're going to be watching everyone get that same number of goals. Against you. <laughs> but we do say Bobby, you are, right? Okay. You're going to do, I think you're going to do fit. Say a few words. Go ahead. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they never let the defenseman talk, right? Come on. Uh, thanks for having us. It's, uh, it's an honor to be here. I think uh, all of us uh, look very much forward to it. So it's, um, it's great. Thank Great you. honor. Great job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. So good luck, Ted. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. So Gary, go get him, man.